Hello, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday so far. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to join us for this webinar. We're very excited to have you with us. We're going to give another minute or two and let, uh, let some folks continue to trickle in here, and uh, then we'll get started. Sounds great. Okay, wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and let's get started. I think some folks are, are still continue to, uh, to trickle in, um, but welcome everyone to From Blood Test to Treatment in One Solution with Optimal DX and Fullscript. My name is Dana Jones, and I'm an integration specialist here at Fullscript. If you use any of our integration partner systems or we're just really excited when we first announced this integration, there's a good chance we may have connected on a call. Great to see you again, if so. If not, welcome, nice to meet you. And uh, while I can demo Fullscript, in any of our integration partners in my sleep, there's a subject that this webinar is covering that I can safely admit that I know absolutely nothing about. Um, so I'm very excited and very honored to be here today with our guest. He is the founder of Optimal DX and he kind of literally wrote the book on functional blood chemistry analysis. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dickon Weatherby. Dr. Weatherby, how are you doing today? I'm just fantastic, thank you. It's good to see you, Dana, thank you for uh for inviting me to do this presentation with you on a topic that very near and dear to my heart and flowing through my veins and flowing through everyone's veins as it is, uh, blood testing. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, Dr. Dickon Weatherby, I'm a naturopathic physician. I graduated in 1998, so coming up to 24 years ago, geez, I'm getting old, um, from National College of Naturopathic Medicine in Portland, Oregon. It's now National University of Natural Medicine. And um, even before I graduated, I was uh, knee deep in this topic of blood chemistry analysis. I actually took my first functional blood chemistry analysis training program in April 1995. And, you know, there were moments in my life when I look back and I think of change points, uh, moments that changed my life. Obviously, moving to the United States when I was 20 was a big change point. But I would say that when I took that seminar, uh, in a small hotel in Portland, Oregon by the airport. Little did I know that it would lead to where we are today, which is, uh, I think, a tremendously powerful tool to take blood chemistry analysis and through the analysis and interpretation all the way through to a treatment plan with a, with a company like Fullscript that provides you with access to a tremendous catalog of products. And so what I hope by the end of today that we um, show you that this actually is a really important uh, integration and important marriage to, to some extent between our two companies because now I think truly we can take the results and the analysis and the interpretation of blood all the way through to that individualized treatment program and protocol for the patient. So excited to be here and thanks for having me. Yeah, we're very excited to have you here as well. I think you've just gone ahead and further proved that we are on two opposite ends of understanding <laughs> of this subject. But like everyone else here today, I am excited to learn. So let's jump on over to uh, to a quick agenda of of how this webinar is going to uh, going to go today. Um, and I just want to mention as well, if you've ever attended a full script webinar before, you might already know um, you're going to have the opportunity to ask some questions as we go along. Um, if this is your first time, there is uh, a section in your GoToWebinar dashboard that will allow you to, to type in questions. So if you have any, please type them in there throughout the, throughout the webinar. We've got someone monitoring the chat live to answer your questions in real time. We're also going to have a dedicated question and answer section at the end. 
any questions that we aren't able to uh, answer immediately or any that we feel are um, enough to share or good enough to share with the class, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll mention them there as well. Um, so uh, as you can see, we're going to start things off with uh, Blood Analysis 101, a brief introduction to functional blood chemistry analysis. Do not worry, there won't be a quiz at the end, uh, but feel oh. free to take, <laughs> or maybe there will, who knows, we're keeping you on your toes here. Um, then after that, we'll jump into blood analysis and supplements, how health insights can help lead to health solutions. And then we'll just do a live demonstration of how Fullscript and Optimal DX uh, can work together. So uh, Dr. Witherby, Dr. Weatherby, let's get class started. Blood Analysis 101, what you got for us today? All right, so this is going to be a very, very short crash course on functional blood, something that I teach um, in uh, weekend seminars and in my training programs and things. So um, this is just going to give you a little bit of a taste. Uh, I know I'm biased, but I truly believe that functional blood chemistry analysis is hands down the most important tool in your assessment tool bag. And I know that we've got as functional medicine practitioners, access to a whole wide range of assessment methodologies, uh, stool testing, saliva testing, Dutch testing, you name it, we've got it. But really when it comes down to it, I think that the functional blood chemistry analysis is to me the most important of those because it should be the very first one that you run uh, with all of your patients. So I may not have time to make you true believers in all of this, but I want to do a very quick crash course so that when we kind of get to the, the software side, you'll kind of at least know what I'm talking about. So here's the agenda for this section. Uh, why recommend blood testing in the first place? Uh, the benefits to you and your practice. Uh, why normal is not optimal? And then how do we get started? So most practitioners, when you think about blood testing, most practitioners think that this is just something that allopathic physicians run on their patients. So why would we want to run this test in a functional and integrated medicine practice? And that's a great question. Well, the thing you have to remember is that the blood chemistry test in CBC, or as it's called in Canada, the hematology test, is hands down the most commonly ordered lab test in the world. Millions and millions of these panels are run every year. And also, most of your patients are going to have had their blood drawn at some time in the past. And blood chemistry and CBC testing has really become a standard method of diagnosis in allopathic medicine. Patients are sort of led to understand and are somewhat educated that blood testing is the norm for health testing assessments. And they're almost expecting to have a blood test performed as they understand that the blood contains the answers to their health. However, let's take it to the practitioner side. A lot of practitioners are unaware that blood chemistry is functional testing. And most practitioners, I think, are really unaware of what can be uncovered when you do a functional analysis of exactly the same test that allopathic physicians run. Now, here's a quote that I'm pretty well known for whenever I do live presentations or in my training programs. I'm, I always say, if you can master the skill of functionally assessing your patient's blood test results, you will hold in your hand the key to open virtually any case that walks through your door. Now, I know this sounds like a lofty statement, but really it's very true. And the reason is that the human blood is a walking library of information. And it's a walking library of information about the state of your patient's functional health and well being from the past to the present and into the future. So really the answer to that question, why blood testing is this, because it's a vital component of a comprehensive functional medicine workup and a vital component of comprehensive health promotion and disease prevention. So what are some of the benefits to you? Well, I think it really improves decision-making. So when we have patients coming to us, there's some decisions that we need to make. What treatments do we want to do? What diets do we want to recommend? What supplements do we want to recommend? What further testing do we need to do? Have we done enough to identify whether or not this patient is ready for treatment or further assessment? I think it provides objective data. When the patient is talking to us, they're providing subjective information. And so by providing that objective information and marrying the two together, I think we get a really truly amazing assessment methodology. And I think it can also confirm the thoughts that you're making as you're sitting there 
listening to that initial intake and recording the history. I know that when I sit with patients, I'm always thinking as those symptoms are coming out, I'm thinking about organ system dysfunction. I'm thinking about conditions. And so what it allows me to do at that point when I've kind of done the history, I can then make a recommendation for further testing, which almost always is a blood test. And here's where we are today, talking about treatment, it guides treatment decisions. So once you've got a sense of the health concerns and the body systems that are out of balance, then you need to treat, you need to use treatment to bring people back to balance. I think blood testing, I'll show you kind of how we're using this in ODX, how it helps drive treatment decisions and also treatment modifications. As you're going through the analysis, you might be thinking, oh, we need to do this or we need to do that. But once you look at the results of the blood chemistry, you can also modify your treatments as well. It also helps to assess the treatment efficacy. So when a patient comes back with a repeat blood test after you've done some treatment, you put a, a protocol together, you can use the blood chemistry analysis to go, hmm, we were moving in the right direction, we didn't move far enough, or we need to continue zinc therapy, or this patient's vitamin D levels are still quite low, let's raise that uh, dosage up, or wow, I didn't expect the liver dysfunction to be quite this difficult to deal with. So let's keep working with the liver because those liver markers haven't improved. And I think also it can really help both you and your patients assess their progress. We do historical reporting, we do comparative reporting as well, where you can look at a set of biomarkers and see how they've changed over time. We give an indication of improvement or, or lack of improvement. So really it can be a wonderful tool to assess progress. And once the patients have really bought into this concept, uh, they really want to drive the conversation around further testing as well. And uh, the reports that we produce, I think, are really helpful for that. So some things to remember, though, is that the main focus of functional blood chemistry analysis is to give you, the practitioner, a tool to help assess the underlying cause of the many chronic issues that your patients are suffering from. It's not about diagnosis. We'll talk about diagnosis, but it really isn't diagnostic in the allopathic uh, sense of the word but rather a way to, I look at it, to analyze the patient's functional state of health and assess trends. We're really about trend analysis. Um, trending, are you trending towards ill health or are you trending towards optimal health? And I think with a blood test, you can really uh, make and assess where someone is on their journey towards that goal. So with that information and information from other functional diagnostic assessments, I'm not saying that this should be the be all and end all. I think we should use this in the context of all of the tools that we have available to us from the assessment side. I think we can better prepare and implement an individualized treatment protocol for our patients. So we talked earlier that nearly every one of your patients will at some time have had a blood test. And guess what? 99% of them will tell you when they mention this oh, I've already had a blood test, my doctor looked at it and said everything was normal. I'm sure you've probably had that experience. I've had that experience sitting in consultations. I took my mom to the doctor the other day and they did some blood work. And sure enough, it was like, you know, getting this piece of paper, like, yeah, you know, everything's normal. Um, you know, we'll, we'll move, move on from that. The problem is that majority of the patients that are feeling unwell will probably come out most of the time normal on blood tests. But clinical experience suggests that these people are by no means normal and are really, from our perspective, a far cry from being functionally optimal. Now, they may not have progressed to that magical disease state at which allopathic medicine suddenly comes into its, uh, you know, for, it comes into its uh, mode of action. Oh, we can treat you now with drugs or we can do surgery because we know that there's a, there's a definable disease. But what we know is that there's this state called dysfunction. Patients are dysfunctional before they become diseased. And this means that their physiological systems are no longer functioning properly and they're starting to feel unwell. So what I wanted to do now is take a quick look at a Quest blood report to kind of show you what this looks like. So I'm not sure if you can see this. Um, this is a four page, there's probably 55 to 60 biomarkers on here. When we put this into the software, actually I'll show you this same uh, blood tests when we analyze it uh, through the software when we, when we do our demo. But really, this patient is 47 years old. Um, he's not diseased per se. There's no ongoing disease process. Uh, so when he goes to the doctor, 
you know, things like, oh, you know, I just don't have the sex drive that I used to have, or you know, low libido. I'm not feeling like I'm engaged in life. Um, I don't feel passionate about anything anymore. Um, I'm getting weight gain, especially around my abdomen. I'm feeling really tired. Uh, I get indigestion a lot. I'm often catching colds. I've got low immunity, generally not feeling great. So when this patient goes to the allopathic physician, they have a really hard time working with something like this because it doesn't fit into their pigeonhole, doesn't fit into that box. So if you can see, I'm not going to go over here, you can see that there are actually only four values on this test that are outside of the normal. So we've got this one here, these ones in blue are the ones. Let's take a look and see what those are. So we've got Billy Rubin. So we've got Billy Rubin's 1.3. We've got hemoglobin is 5.7. We've got DHEA sulfate is low at 62. Excuse me for that. And we have estradiol that is high at 42. None of these are really that connected. Everything else is quote unquote normal. Why? Well, this really has to do, I think, with the fact that the standard lab references on this and every lab that comes from a lab represent normal distributions of results according to a statistical analysis. It's statistics, folks. It's got nothing to do with health, nothing to do with normal physiological function. And that's kind of where we're starting at. So 1.5% of the population, 2.5% of the population will be high, 2.5% of the population will be low. Everybody else is normal. So if you're falling within normal, you're fine, right? They're not going to know what to do with you. From our perspective, we've got a different approach, and I'll show you what that looks like in the next slide. The other thing, these lab ranges that we're looking at may not actually be sensitive enough to identify the trend towards manifesting a particular disease and therefore fail to highlight or reveal subclinical health or metabolic issues, things that we call dysfunction. Dysfunctions are the central to the work of functional medicine practitioners. They also detect overt pathology once the damage is done. So if enough of these biomarkers are out of value, for instance, if this AST had been 100 and the ALT had been 95, then we move into action. There's enough here that's happening. Oh, we now, we now potentially have pathology. We've got tissue change. Let's start putting some drugs in there. Let's start sticking some needles into the liver and that sort of thing, or doing some further testing for, for hepatitis. But until the damage is done, they don't necessarily know what to do with you. And the other thing is normal ranges shift as the populations get sicker. And I've been doing this work, like I said, for 27 years. And surely over time, the ranges have gotten wider and wider. Now, I have to say that there are some ranges, for instance, blood glucose, where they are finally recognizing, hmm, there is this state that exists called prediabetes. So maybe we should be paying attention to that. But it's taken a long time to get to that point. And there's also seldomly a universal applicable reference value. Here's something I want to show you. So this patient, let's say they had been in Boston on the East Coast and they'd gone to a lab core draw site, had enough blood drawn so that they could spin down and have the blood tested in Boston. And then that patient got on a flight over to Los Angeles and went to a reference lab, completely different reference lab in Los Angeles and had the very same blood analyzed what you might get is completely different reference ranges. So for instance, let's look at this Billy River, 1.3 high. So the, their high normal is 1.2. Let's say the lab reference in um, Los Angeles, it was 1.4. This person would have a completely normal Billy Rubin in Los Angeles and in Boston, they're out of value. So we, we need a way, we need a solution. And that solution I think is called functional blood analysis. So the functional approach to chem screen and CBC analysis is oriented around changes in physiology, not pathology. It's why I'm a, a huge student of physiology. Every training program that I've done always starts out with functional physiology. If you can understand how the body evolved to function, then we can understand how it got dysfunctional. And without that understanding of physiology, it's very, very difficult to really appreciate why our patients are feeling the way that they're feeling. So in the work that we do and in the software, we use ranges that are based on optimal physiology and not the quote unquote normal population. And this results in a tighter functional physiological range, which if you can see this uh, uh, drawing here, this is actually a, a screenshot of, of a report that we do in the software. So you'll see this in a few moments. Um, but ultimately what I'm really interested in, and this is the standard low and standard high, 
I'm really interested in this area. So I'm interested in what's between the optimal low and the standard low. This tells me that there's something happening in this patient's physiology that we need to address. And the same here with optimal. So where you are within the normal range, so from here to here, all of this is normal. But what I'm saying is that there's starting to, sh there's starting to be shifts in the functional physiology of this patient that is causing this particular biomarker to start moving out of balance. The other thing that we do in functional blood chemistry is that we don't just look at one biomarker. We recognize that we are an interrelated body system. And so we look at the interrelationships between, body, uh, of, between blood biomarkers and how they relate to functional body systems, accessory systems, things like inflammation, bone health, um, macronutrients, micronutrients, and even individual conditions themselves. So with functional blood chemistry analysis, we can increase our ability to detect patients with changes in physiological function. So we can start to identify the factors that are obstructing the patient from achieving optimal, and the word is optimal, physiological, biochemical, and metabolic functioning in the body. So the objectives of functional blood. With this approach, we might take a look at the very same blood test results, and we're gonna do that in a moment when we go over to the software, and come to a very, very different conclusion as to what's going on. We define a set of ranges that are within the normal range but represent optimal physiological function. And the goal is to identify results that may be trending towards disease before overt disease is present. What are we doing? We're trying to detect the emergence of dysfunction. And we use this method to detect for signs of things like compromised thyroid function, blood sugar dysregulation, um, altered uh, liver function, sex hormone imbalance, dehydration, nutrient deficiencies, and that sort of thing. So when we assess these levels from an optimal standpoint, we can reveal signs of metabolic dysfunction that would be completely overlooked otherwise. And we can then address those metabolic imbalances. We can address those nutrient insufficiencies early on. Uh, and once imbalance and dysfunction are identified, we can then take the important steps. And now with our integration with Fullscript, we can lead that all the way through to the health solution end that individualized prescription for that patient. So ultimately, we're wanting to restore balance in order to restore optimal function. So that was a very, very quick run through here. That usually takes me about two to three hours and I would have tons of slides showing you all the different uh, standard deviations and all that kind of thing. But ultimately, how do we get started? The first thing you need to do is you need to sign up with a lab company. So I'm sure all of you are um, probably hooked up with a lab company. In the United States, there's a tremendous uh, lab company called Avexia Diagnostics, provide incredible pricing for uh, lab core testing. Uh, you can put together your own panels. We're working closely with Avexia um, to provide uh, services with them. Uh, there are, of course, lots of other companies in, in, the U in Canada. I believe it's Life Labs and Dynacare are the two big labs. Um, doesn't matter where you get your blood results from, we can handle it in the software. The next thing you want to do is put together your biomarker panels. Avexia will help you do that. They've even actually prepared a whole load of panels ahead of time, and the ODX panels are, are there as well. Go over to OptimalDX.com. We've got panels if you're looking to uh, you know, see what kind of panels to put together for various different situations. Then you've got to order the blood test. You've got to talk to your patients. This is where a little bit of sort of internal marketing can help. You've got to convince them that this really is an important tool. Maybe show them a sample blood report and say, listen, we can get a lot of information out of this. And then once those blood results come back, uh, if you're working with a company like Avexia or Ulta Lab Tests or Access, we can pull those results directly into the software or you can just do manual entry. And when we analyze, we analyze and interpret those results for you from this functional perspective at ODX. If you want to do this by yourself, I've got tracking forms on my website. You're more than welcome to download with optimal ranges. You can do what I used to do. It's take about 25 to 35 minutes a patient to do a sort of manual analysis, chicken scratch notes on the right-hand side. If you, if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. If you want ODX to provide the reporting for you, kind of help you get jump started, then that's kind of what we're going to show you in a few moments. Then you create your functional health report any, anywhere from a 50 to 65 page uh, full color report. Um, then you can go and create your functional medicine full script treatment plan. So you take those health concerns that we talked about, marry them up with uh, um, some of our ODX recommendations. We'll talk a little bit about what those are in a moment, or the full catalog of products from, from full script to 
basically create this individualized treatment plan, allow Fullscript to deal with the fulfillment and all the shipping. And uh, from there, within the ODX uh, system, you can create what's called a health improvement plan. This is sort of a graphical representation of the uh, supplement plan that you've got through the patients. This can be really nice because it's um, it ties in the reason why, and we'll talk a little bit about the reason why in a few moments, but ultimately tying in that reason why into um, the supplements that they've been recommended. And then you have that treatment uh, report of findings appointment. This is kind of where there's the ta-da moment, where you sit down with them, you either do it like we're doing over a Zoom meeting. Um, all, of, all of our reports, by the way, are fully interactive. They're interactive PDFs or through the website. So you can bounce back and forth between sections and really lead the conversation uh, with your clients and your patients. So that's ultimately the kind of the flow. Uh, sign up with the lab company, put together your panels, order your blood tests, and then run them through ODX, get the treatment plan over to full script, and then have that report of findings. So this is a quote actually from uh, one of my top users, uh, a really amazing functional medicine practitioner in North Carolina called Dr. Brad Rackman. He has been uh, a functional medicine practitioner for a lot longer than I have, one of the most brilliant practitioners that I've ever uh, had the privilege of talking to. And this is a quote that he gave me. He said, for me, the blood chemistry software at ODX is the centerpiece of my guidance system and helping people to understand what it is that's really going on with their physiology and helping me, the practitioner, to work my way through the decision-making relative to that. And that's Dr. Brad Ratman, who's the medical director of the Ratman Clinic in Black Mountain, North Carolina. So that's kind of blood analysis 101. We kind of left with this uh, report of findings that you've just done. But something I wanted to talk to you about is uh, the full script integration with Optimal DX. And I think why it's such an important move uh, for, for my clients and the clients that are in ODX and potentially for you that may be more full script users that we can actually provide you now with the reason why. Um, when I've talked to practitioners, oftentimes, um, if I said to them, you know, how would you treat uh, liver dysfunction or how, would, if, if I gave them a dysfunction, almost all of them would be able to, you know, list the supplements, the products, the diets, the lifestyles. And really the thing that oftentimes trips people up is to know what to treat. And I think that's the, the, the amazing thing about ODX and the blood reporting is that we kind of lead you to that point. I don't tell you what to treat. I'm giving you an indication based upon the analysis that we do that there are certain health concerns that warrant treatment. And I think with full script now, we have the ability to go way beyond where we were before. Um, the functional health report in the, in the past used to have uh, some supplements before we integrated with full script. This was sort of a half-hearted attempt to provide you, the practitioners, with a way to create protocols. It used a static database of products, and there really were inherent shortcomings to that. So I wanted to kind of give a little um, uh, run through of what this looks like. So this is what the report used to look like. It's very, very different now. Um, so ultimately, what, the way that we did this before full script, and this really was a bolt-on. It was like, I've never really been a treatment guy. I'm a diagnostic and assessment guy. And so when patients, uh, practitioners came to us and said, hey, we'd love to get some supplement recommendations, we basically bolted on a way to do it. It, it was, like I said, a half-hearted attempt to, to get people to a solution. Prescriptions were made from a static database of supplements. It was difficult to update. It wasn't live. It wasn't connected to an inventory. It wasn't connected to a, a practitioner's inventory. Um, reports were run based on a single company. Who uses a single company nowadays? I don't. I don't think anybody does. Maybe people with specialty companies do. But ultimately, it like yeah, you need to be choosing your own products from different companies to fill the needs that you feel uh, need to be fixed. All recommendations were fixed. It was like our way or the highway. Uh, you weren't able to change them. So where it said like, you know, this metagenics product for adrenal dysfunction, you had to get the one that we recommended. Uh, so there was no mix and matching. Practitioners had no choice to really create truly individualized treatment plans. It really was a one size fits all and ultimately very hard to keep the database up to date. Now, fast forward to where we are today, we built an amazing treatment plan builder for you that really associates the health concerns concept that we come up with in ODX and allows you to be able to choose uh, individual products from the uh, full script database. I've also been working very closely to make what we call ODX recommendations. I've worked with the 
Fullscript Medical Integrative uh, Functional Medicine Advisory Team to kind of help you get started on your journeys. Like we, we offer up five to six curated products from different companies that we feel absolutely fit that niche really well. Obviously the choice is yours. You have the full catalog available to you. So Dana, that's kind of where we're at here um, with the full script integration. I would say every single one of these uh, issues that we ha had before have been addressed. Um, so maybe you want to talk a little bit about the full script platform before we dive into the next bit. Yeah, definitely. And thanks again so much for a uh, crash course, no kidding, uh, in functional <laughs> blood chemistry analysis. You know, before this, if you'd asked me what Billy Rubin was, I would say, isn't that a hobbit from like Lord of the Rings or something? Now I know it's a biomarker in me, yeah. in my blood. It's a gallbladder biomarker. Yeah. So we didn't kind of go into it, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> but and so we've we've learned a little bit more about functional blood chemistry analysis. We've seen what Optimal DX was was like before, and some of the limitations that the integration we worked really hard to to as Dr. Weatherby had said to improve upon and and to address. So before you had one brand, now you have over 300 plus in the full script catalog over 20,000 products from a number of different professional grade lines with insured quality with us as well. Um, the Fullscript platform, if you're not familiar with it, if you're not a user already, hey, we have so, oh, yep, oh, am I here, hello? Yeah, you're dropping out a little bit, not sure why. Oh, are you able to hear me, hello? Yeah, I hear you just fine, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know what's what's going on with my Wi-Fi here. Um, work, working from home life, right? I'm sure we can we can all relate to that in some way or another. Um, but uh, yeah, so full script. If you're not familiar, we have solutions available for those who like to have in-person practices, virtual practices. If you're doing a little bit of both, if you're hybrid, um, full script itself has a very robust treatment plan tool that I think Optimal DX m matched beautifully in in their system. It, industry-leading search experience. You've got filters to find different supplement types, specific ingredients, and uh, different sorts of certifications for patients that might have dietary considerations. And once you go through Optimal DX and you recommend the supplements you want, it's automated and pushed right through to your Fullscript dispensary. It can make patient profiles over in Fullscript based on their information in Optimal DX. Um, they get a notification from us. All they have to do is sign into Fullscript. It can be done on a computer on a cell phone, wherever they are, they're gonna be able to easily access Fullscript, place their orders, supplements are shipped directly to their front door. And we also offer free shipping on all orders that are $50 or more, which I think is is pretty cool. That's that's pretty great. Pretty amazing. Yeah, but as Dr. Weatherby had kind of alluded to already, one of the key features of this integration of, of Optimal DX and Fullscript working together were those supplement suggestions um, that he and our medical advisory team had worked together so closely on to help mirror the health concerns that show up in the reports that you run on Optimal DX. So Dr. Weatherby, do you want to speak a little bit more yeah, about these? Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is, this is really, I think, what sets us apart from just a product specific report. I mean, that's what you guys are really good at, creating product specific prescriptions. What we wanted to do is like really take a look at this final stage of the blood analysis process. And I'll show you kind of what this looks like in the software. And that's the generation of what we call a functional health concerns report. So we, we look at all the biomarkers, we look at all the analysis, all the interpretation. And this is kind of the ta-da, the conclusion moment is, we feel that there's like an 86% likelihood of liver uh, issues being of concern to this patient. So we would say, hey, you know, given everything that's going on for this patient, do you think that that's something that you would probably want to treat? Now we have to use that word lightly because I know some of you um, don't have licenses that allow you to treat uh, or recommend is probably a better word. So the final stage of the blood analysis process is the generation of the functional concerns report. And it provides insight into what areas of the body and what dysfunctions need the most support. And so what we did is we decided that we needed to build a treatment plan builder within ODX that allows you to take those health concerns from that particular blood test and then make a decision. We, we recommend maybe eight, eight health concerns that, that need to be worked on. Now, obviously you don't wanna necessarily do all eight or you might wanna just do three. So we give you the power, this is your tool. It's not me telling you what to do. It's like me leading you to a point and then you kind of taking on from that. So we'll show you how all of this looks. But what 
ultimately what I loved about this is because my my world is about health concerns and conditions. So I talked to Fullscript. They said, absolutely, we'll work with you. Our medical and functional medicine, integrative medicine advisory team will work to kind of trawl through all of the products, looking at ingredients, looking at um, best practices and standards. And these are five, six, maybe even seven or eight supplements, individual nutri nutraceuticals that we feel together are really good for dealing with that particular health concern. So obviously we're not trying to tell you what to do. We're just sort of, hey, if you want to know what kind of products are available out there, this is these are probably the ones to take a look at. Obviously you have access to the full catalog. You can search by brand, any of the other filters that Dana was just talking about. But I think it's really nice to, to be given sort of a, almost a template approach where you can then very quickly make the selections. You can change the dosages and all of that. So um, once the prescription has been handled in ODX, send it to full script and they'll take it from there. So I'm super excited to have this uh, uh, ODX recommendations curated with uh, the uh, full script integrative medical advisory team. I think it's, I think it's groundbreaking actually. Huge, absolutely huge. And of course, like Dr. Weatherby said, we we take it on from there. The patients will order directly through us and some other great features you might be fans of if you're looking to help boost some adherence with your patients, maybe keeping them on track with the plan because that's the whole point, right? Like if they place that first order, you never follow up, they never continue, you never really know if, if they're gonna actually be getting better. So full script, we wanna help you with that too. We have automated refill reminders. They're based on the custom dosage instructions you can provide based on what your patient needs. We send out adherence surveys. Uh, patients can also set up auto shipments on their own end too. So just take all the hassle out of it. We can we can take care of that for them. And like I said earlier, convenient and accessible online ordering from pretty much any device you can get the internet on. So yeah, very very cool. Yeah. Well, should we um, should we jump over and do a live demo? Let's do it. Let's take it for a spin. All right, let's, let's get out of here. All right, so I've logged in. I'm hoping I'm still logged in. Let's see. If we can sometimes it logs me out if I've been. Yeah, we're still logged in. That's good. So this is a, a kind of a test account that we set up, Dana and I. So it's, it's actually got Dana's name on it. So Dana, you're gonna be and the again, <laughs> That's why he's doing this. I am not qualified to do this uh, at all. So, so uh, this is all this is all you, Dr. Weatherby. This is all me. So what I did was I actually entered a couple of blood tests into the system here. Um, so that we can uh, review uh, the, the kind of the process. So this is our dashboard here, and there's, there's some information across the top. Um, I think one of the first things that you would probably want to do as a new user would be to enable your connection. So you can very quickly enable your connection with Fullscript. Um, obviously, because this is a Fullscript demo, we've got both Canada and US enabled. Uh, we wanted to demonstrate for both systems. Obviously, if you're in Canada, uh, we will know that you're from Canada and probably will only give you access to the Canadian system, not likewise if you're from the US. Um, from here, these are obviously connected. Um, one thing I do want to point out, because this was kind of interesting to me, um, and my development team had told me this, but if you have more than one practitioner on your Fullscript account, you will, within ODX, you will have to say, hey, I'm uh, Dr. Dick and Weatherby, uh, this is my ODX account, and I want to hook it into the uh, uh, Dr. Dick and Weatherby practitioner in um, Full script. So you can just manage your connection here and then you go manage connected users. And so you can see here are some of the users in ODX. And um, this is the connection that we've made across the top here. Obviously, this is all internal with full script, but this is where you would hook in to your list of, of practitioners within your full script account to make sure that the Dr. Dick and Weatherby is the Dr. Dick and Weatherby in your full script account. So I just wanted to point that out to you. We also have lab integrations available. You can hook up with any of these people. Um, Avexia was the one that I was telling you about, super great company, uh, really great testing for them. Anyway, so that's, that's kind of like, now you're connected to full script. Now you want to go in and add some blood work. So you uh, would probably go over to analysis and add a new blood test. Um, I'm going to go take a look at our view patients here. So there's a patient I added yesterday called James Bond. So James Bond was the guy, the 47-year-old who was having some issues, maybe drinking a few too many um, <laughs> martinis, uh, but he was having some issues. Uh, we had his blood work done, and so I ended up entering him into the software here. Uh, very easy to enter new patients. We don't add, ask for a ton of information, uh, basic first name, last name, date of birth, gender, and email address, and mobile phone if they have it. 
uh, and that will pretty much get them set up here in ODX. So let's go to James Bond. So the first thing we do when we go to the patient dashboard is we give you sort of a window into this particular patient's life within ODX. So we've got one blood test that we've entered and we haven't done any treatment plans. Um, we can also see the latest blood test. This is kind of like a historical report. So the more tests that you add into the system, this nice little window will show all of them. So this is kind of a synopsis. This isn't the actual report itself. It's just a synopsis of the information. This links through into our reference guides here. So there's full reference guides built into the system. This is basically my blood book on steroids. Um, and then if, as the analysis goes, these are some of the, the conclusions that were made about this blood test that uh, we want to take a look at. But what I want to show you is sort of the data entry form. So when you add a new blood test, you'll get a form like this where you would enter in the values uh, manually, or if you were using something like Avexia, you can then import those. We would fill this uh, form out for you and you could go from there. So what we did is we, we took those blood results that you saw, uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, we don't need to do that. Anyway, the Quest, blood, the Quest blood test that we were looking at, we took those blood results, and now let's say we've just added them into the system here. Remember, there were only four biomarkers that were out of value, right? There was bilirubin, um, what was the other one? Hemoglobin A1C, maybe, uh, estradiol, and DHEA. So there were only four blood biomarkers that were, were out of normal. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then I'm going to run into uh, our report. So the reports, we've got two of them here. The functional health report is our an analytical and interpretive reporting. We take the blood biomarkers, run them through some algorithmic analysis, some AI, and finding out what are some of the areas of focus that you need to be paying attention to. So I'm going to run the functional health report on this guy, and this is the only blood test that we've got in here. So the other thing about the report center is I wanted to give you, the practitioner, the, the power to run whatever reports you want. So we've got, I think, 18 different reports in here. All of them are selected with these little check marks. You have full control over any of these. If you just want to do a functional body systems, go with it. You can just do a functional body systems. But uh, I'm going to probably run a full report here. Just so you know, these practitioner notes, these are notes that you have put in on that data entry page. So if you have notes that you would like to add as, a, as an initial report, I'll show you what this looks like, and then we hit run report. Crunching those numbers, running them against algorithms, you may have, so the system is now by uh, machine learning and kind of coming up with some conclusions. Now this report is interactive. All of these are hyperlinks. You can hyperlink to any different section. Uh, these are all the uh, various different sections. And again, these are all links where you can jump to this. You can also create an interactive PDF of this report. So I want to kind of just like showcase a few areas. I don't want to go into this in great detail. And ultimately, I want to end on this health concerns because this is kind of the driver for creating that treatment plan. So the first thing that we have here is this what's inside. This is the practitioner notes. So if there were any notes that you had written and next to that blood test data entry field would come in here. Then for, this is mostly for, for patients. So we do patient and practitioner versions of these reports. The patient version has slightly less medical language in it. And the practitioner report, actually, you get a couple of different reports that your patients don't get. Um, and so this is a deeper window into what's going on. And then when you're ready to do your, your uh, assessment or your uh, um, reporting, report of findings with your patient, you would just use the, the patient version. So this is the practitioner report. Then we've got like a brief intro to functional blood, what the practitioner report contains. And then I want to jump into our assessment report. The first one is the functional body systems. So we look at, I think, 12 or 13 different interconnected body systems to kind of give a sense of whether or not there is dysfunction in that particular system. So it's really about probability. What is the probability of dysfunction within the blood sugar regulation, sex hormone function, cardiovascular function, immune function, GI, adrenals, and liver? As you can see, these are all hyperlinked. I can click into these into an area that gives us a little bit more information. So this says dysfunction highly likely, much improvement is required. Uh, this gives the rationale, and these are the reason why blood fasting glucose was out, LDH was low, hemoglobin A1C was elevated, fasting insulin, uh, et cetera. And again, same thing with sex hormones. So we could imagine that, that a health concern is going to be generated for some of these higher probabilities of dysfunctions. 
The next report that we have is accessory systems, where we look at lipids, inflammation, allergy, toxicity, pH balance, and oxidative stress. This patient's lipid panel was a little out of balance. Triglycerides were high, LDL cholesterol, triglycerides to HDL ratio, and HDL cholesterol was low. Next one we look at is a macronutrient status, vitamin status, carbohydrates, and proteins, and then minerals, fats, hydration, and electrolytes. Again, sort of a slightly wider view um, and we drill deeper into the reason why and sort of some of the biomarkers that will be causing that. And then we have individual nutrient deficiencies. And sure enough, remember that DHEA was really low. Well, of course, that's going to trigger 100% for this guy. But vitamin D wasn't low, according to them. They're quite happy with the vitamin D the way it was. I'm not. I don't think that the vitamin D level that we're looking at in this particular patient is optimal and is serving his, uh, his needs. And then finally, this is a, patient, a practitioner only report. This is kind of like, all right, so blood sugar regulation was an issue. What part of blood sugar regulation is the problem? Well, it's a mix between metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance. They're kind of two, two sides of the same coin. We also have some dysglycemia. So three of the top four are blood sugar. Uh, we've had sex hormone dysfunction. Well, that's testosterone deficiency, adrenal insufficiency, and that kind of thing. And you, again, you can drive into here and sort of see the reasons why. The next report we have is our analytics. So this is where we're comparing optimal ranges versus standard ranges and giving you a sense of imbalance. And so this report, here are all of the various different categories and you can jump between any of these. So let's say I wanted to jump to those hormone markers. Sure enough, the DHEA was very low. Total testosterone was low. Free testosterone was below the optimal. Percent testosterone was below the optimal. So there's a lot of problems here. And flip side of this, he's binding a lot of his, his testosterone is being bound. So there's a, not a lot of it available to be uh, for metabolic work. And then of course, estradiol, this could be why he's got that weight gain around the middle of his body. Uh, he's got some aromatase activity that's taking the testosterone that is available and converting it into estradiol. These are all things that we can then go to full script for, find a really cool prescription and bring this patient back to a more uh, functional sex hormone uh, uh, regulation. So this is kind of a nice window into all of the different biomarkers. Um, we also do what's called a comparative report. Obviously, we don't have a test to compare it against, but if we did, this is where the comparison will be made. And then I can also jump from here into the historical report, because let's say I had six blood tests that I was looking at, and I was going, you know, over the last two tests that we've done, your blood glucose levels are starting to go up. I want to take a look and see what it looked like before. Oh, actually, you know, over the last year or two, it's been pretty good. So what was going on, you know, in January that was causing your glucose levels to go up? So this is a nice way of the interconnected and interactivity between the report. Something I forgot to point out was also in here, you, this, in, this jumps to our out of optimum range report. Not something that you necessarily would need, but this is really important for the patient because they're gonna to have tons of questions. Like Dana was saying, what's bilirubin? Well, let's go find out. Um, where is bilirubin on here? I know it's here somewhere there, bilirubin. Bilirubin direct. Direct or conjugated bilirubin is the form of bilirubin that's made water soluble in the liver, so it could be excreted in the bile. An increase may be associated with dysfunctions or blockages in the liver, gallbladder, or biliary tree. So it's part of the liver and the gallbladder. So what was the marker that we looked at? Well, it was uh, 1.3 and direct was 0.2, uh, indirect was 1.1. So these are all issues that we should be paying attention to. Gallbladder problems would be something to pay attention to with this patient. So we've got the comparative, then we've got blood test history, then we've got that out of optimum range report. Now I want to get to kind of like the to-da moment because this is going to be driving our treatment approach, and this is health concerns. So what we do with our health concerns report, like I said, that we take all of the data that we've collected, and this is kind of the conclusion that we've come to, is that blood sugar support is very much needed in this particular patient. There's a 100% need based upon all of the biomarkers we're looking at, all of the analysis we did. If this was me, yeah, I'd probably be working on blood sugar support with this guy because um, we can do it, we could do it with supplements, obviously, but lending itself to diet, lifestyle, exercise, whatever it is that you have in your treatment toolkit, this is an opportunity for you to go, hmm. And this actually uh, is another thing you can do is like, wow, you know, I think some of the symptomology that he was talking about kind of relates to this. He's sleeping in the afternoon, he needs, he eats like candy bars to kind of prop up his energy, he lives on caffeine, that sort of thing. DHEA and E was 100%, vitamin B12 and folate was 100%. The reason for that was uh, his MCV was elevated, homocysteine was elevated, 
Uh, B12 is something that helps bring homocysteine levels down. White blood cell count was low. Uh, that's another marker for B12. RDW is elevated and then there's vitamin B12. So let's go now. We've generated this health concerns report. What I want to do now is I want to go and create a treatment plan. So I'm going to go to add a new treatment plan. And there's some videos here that will show you, walk you through how to do this. But the very first thing you wanted to do is to choose your catalog of products. And obviously, I'm in full script US, so I'm going to use the US full script. So when I do that, the next question it asks me is, what patient are we going to be creating a treatment plan for? And we're going to create one for James Bond. We now know that James Bond, because I've already done this, is already matched. So this is something that we're going to have to do within the ODX system, is to match the ODX patients with the full script patients. And let's say, for instance, this was the wrong match and I clicked wrong full script. So let's say this, this wasn't a match patient. This is what, would, what it would look like. You match it once, once it's matched, it's done. So you can match with an existing patient. You can click this list and get all the list of all of the patients in your uh, full script account and match them across. Or you can go ahead and create a new patient. It takes all of the information that we've got, sends it over to full script, creates this patient in full script. You can even have full script send that welcome email. So next time, if you go over to full script, this patient will be existing in that database. But we've got, a, we've got a, the right patient here. I'm going to hit next. So the next question that we ask is, do you want to create a treatment plan based upon a health concerns report? Or do you just want to skip that and go and just make just put supplements together? I would say that we rebuilt basically full script's functionality within ODX to do this. If you want to use us to go create full script treatment plans the way that you, that you do over there, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate this. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show how we tie in the health concerns that we have seen in those blood reports all the way through to a full script uh, treatment plan. So I'm going to select. It's going to ask me what blood test. Obviously, we only have one. And what happens now is it's pulling in all of the health concerns that were showing up for this particular patient. Like I said, it's going to pre-select eight. So I'm going to look at this list and go, you know what? I think we can handle cardio support uh, with lifestyle. I think we can handle adrenal support with lifestyle. Um, all of these other ones, I think we need to do supplements. But here's another thing. I want to. I feel like this guy really needs some um, fatty acids. So I'm going to go choose down here, and I'm going to do essential fatty acid need. Now, this wasn't picked up in the blood test, but it's a health concern that you can associate products with uh, in the next part of the builder. So once that's done, you're going to hit next. And now it's communicating with Fullscript. It takes a little bit of time. Like someone said, it's going to space and back. Um, now we've got two, two uh, um, scenarios here. One is you can go straight to adding products. But we also built in what I thought was pretty cool was an auto-populate products feature. Now we've got these ODX recommendations that we did with the Fullscript integrated medical team. So we know that for each of these health concerns, we've got a pre-selected list from the recommendations of the products that we think would be great to use with that. We also know what brand they are. So if there is a brand that exists in any of these recommendations, you can pre-populate based upon that particular brand. So for instance, I'm gonna generate the list here. So there's at least one allergy research product in this list that will pre-populate that product for that health concern will be pre-populated. So I'm gonna show you pure encapsulations. I really like pure encapsulations, they're a good company. So I'm going to pre-select this from pure encapsulations. And what it's doing now is it's communicating with Fullscript via the API. Someone said it's going to space and back, give it some time. Um, all right, so let's look at this next screen. Here are all the health concerns. It, this is the list that we generated, and it's giving you the percent probability. And we wanted to pre-select all of the ODX recommendations which exist in this particular section here for blood sugar support. And so these are the other recommendations that have been made. We've got advanced glucose support from Clinical Synergy, Glucose Balance from Biotics, Glucose Supreme from Designs for Health, and then this metabolic extra from Pure Encapsulations. So you can see this has already been added. Let's say you don't like this particular product. You want to use something else, so you can delete it. And then let's say you wanted to do Glucose Supreme. So I'm going to add Glucose Supreme now. And you can see that it adds the little one up here. Now telling me that there was one product associated with that. The DHEA, I'm pretty happy with my pure encapsulations choice. Again, only one product. I can go in here, I can edit this. I can change the uh, number of units I want this patient to get. 
I can change also if I want to give them 180 capsules and then also the amount of, of products. So let's say I want them to do two capsules. I want them to do twice a day. That's a big dose of this. DHEA might be too much for him. But anyway, so I've now changed the dose there. Vitamin B12, we're pretty happy with that. Um, so that's there as well. And then let's say the EFA need. So this is like how you'd go in and change and move products around. One of the things I do want to point out is that probably the vitamin D is the one that we might need to do some changing to because there are actually two pure encapsulations products in the database, one vegan and one non-vegan. I'm going to delete the non-vegan. I don't need to do two of the same. So, and then we need to do the same with the zinc. And makes, so we're sort of cleaning the prescription up a little bit. Um, I wanted, I don't want to do the liquid zinc. I want to do the zinc citrate. So now I feel like our uh, product is good. We can also look in the catalog. Again, we can search by a brand. We can search by our allergens. We can search by our supplement types, even individual ingredients. But one of the things I wanted to do is now, I actually want to give this patient a multivitamin. I like multivitamins. I think multivitamins are probably something that we want to do. Obviously, no items are here. This is an unassigned product. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to do a multivitamin from, let's say, allergy research. And I'm just going to type in multi here. So I'm now searching the Fullscript database for an allergy research multiple vitamin. And sure enough, it gives me uh, a few different choices here. Um, I want to do this one here. So now my treatment plan is all good. I'm going to go ahead and review it. Dana, feel free to chime in if there's anything I'm missing. <laughs> no, you're, you're doing great. Like we were saying earlier, the treatment plan here in Optimal DX, very similar to the regular full script treatment plan flow. Same filters you know and love that you already use every day, you're going to be able to use here in Optimal DX. But the, the big game changer are those supplement suggestions that our medical advisory team and you put together. That's that's Yeah, that's huge. It's, I think it's a real game changer because I think so many people want to kind of be given kind of a starting point. Like I said, like, uh, oh, I don't want to use that pure encapsulation, but it was nice to know that it was there, right? So it's a way to be able to change. Um, the other nice thing about here is that is the, we, we do a report with messaging. We've given you some templates of messages that you might want to uh, include. So I'm going to hit save here. So now here is the uh, treatment plan. I'm now going to create this treatment plan in Fullscript. It's now communicating with Fullscript. Uh, Danish, we do a quick view of this in full script. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's let's click that. When you finish the treatment plan in Optimal DX, you do have the option to just straight up finish it right then and there. You activate it, send it over, or you can uh, click a button that redirects you to your full script dispensary, and you can review that treatment plan in draft status and then make any additional changes in there that you might want want to do. Okay, I'm gonna give. You a, unfortunately, it's not gonna allow me to do that because this would this wants me to log into your full script account, which oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't. It, you have to actually authenticate it on the other end, so um, we're not gonna be able to do that. But basically, what it does would open up full script. You would see the patient. You'd see this message. You'd see all the supplements there. Uh, you can either, like you said, you can send the prescription from that point, you can add handouts, use all of the features that Fullscript, and then you can kind of come back here if you want to activate that treatment plan. Um, now that treatment plan has been sent to that patient, Fullscript is doing all the wonderful things that it does, and we've now pretty much completed the treatment builder. Let's go run a report on this, and I'll show you what the health improvement plan looks. So the health improvement plan, it knows that we had some practitioner notes, so it's going to give us a practitioner note report. You can look at this plan just from the supplement angle, or you can look at it from the health concerns angle. Because this is a health improvement plan report that's coming from health concerns, we pre-select this health improvement plan, and then we give you a product summary. So let's run this report. So it's going to bring up all of the uh, blood test uh, conclusions of health concerns that we did. Again, this is fully interactive. You can move across this. So we were going to be treating all of these. And remember, we added in essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids didn't have any blood health concerns. Um, so let's go look at the B12 that we chose. Vitamin B12 and folate need. Nice little window here showing, hey, 100% likelihood that this was needed. The results of this blood test indicate this patient's vitamin B12 might be lower than optimal. Shows the need for vitamin B12 supplementation. Bingo, we've got one here. Really good one from Pure Encapsulations. Little details, brand, a rationale behind why. So when you sit down with your patient and you, you show them this, this is a way for you to be able to increase compliance, 
really engage them in that why. Why, why am I taking vitamin B12? Well, your MCV was high, your homocysteine was high, your total white blood cell count was low, your RDW was low, and your vitamin B12 was low. Um, we've got a lot of reasons why this particular thing came high. Um, if you want to explain the physiology behind all of that, be my guest. That's what you can do. Vitamin D, we've got a nice product there. So you can either use this in a consultative session like we're doing here on, on the screen, or you can go ahead and create a PDF of this. Um, hopefully it'll open up in this window and I can kind of show you what that would look like when uh, the interactive PDF comes up. Let's see, can we see that? Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. It's so this the is the interactive PDF that gets generated. Uh, nice cover sheet here. If you did have your um, own branding in here, you can put your own logo here. If you had your patient's photograph in here, it would put their photograph here. If you put your photograph in here, it would be here really nice to be able to brand this for that particular patient and that's the same for functional health reports as well i click this button here i can now go to the what's inside if i had some notes here that i wanted to bring to their attention i could do that this is the health improvement plan these are the things that we found on your blood testing that we want to treat um, and they go well why what's up with my blood sugar well we found that your glucose was a little bit high remember we talked about that in your in the consultation well, this is a product that we feel is going to really help address that. I've also put together some handouts that Fullscript has got. Whatever you want to do to help educate this patient to be able to make some changes around supporting their blood sugar regulation. Um, and then also right at the bottom here, we have a product summary report. Um, you could have the patient print this out, put it on their bathroom mirror, put it on their fridge. And just sort of a reminder of kind of what you're taking and why you're taking it. And um, you know, in a couple of days, these products are going to arrive on their doorstep from Fullscript, beautifully packaged, and they can start beginning that protocol that you have created for them. So, Dana, that's the kind of uh, the run through here. Um, I wanted to kind of show quickly, if I could, that you can actually view the treatment plans that you've created. Obviously, this is Dana's account, so there's quite a few um, demo little tests that he did. But you can actually come back in here and revisit this treatment plan and kind of see what you what you made. Um, I wouldn't suggest you go edit this because um, you know, you've already selected this to the patient, but this is the way that you can go back and view them. If you want to run just a straight up health improvement plan, you'd go and select the uh, patient, select the treatment plan, and bingo, you're back at the screen. But I thought it might be worth, because we did the um, just straight up pre-population with, with brand. Do you think it'd be helpful just to kind of show what the other one looks like? Uh, yeah, very quickly, if you uh, if you want to kind of yeah, kind of go through that, I know we, we've got a couple questions in the in the chat that folks are itching to, to get answers for. Okay, so. well, while I do this, why don't you you uh, load up some questions then? Sure, I've, I've got them here, and I think, uh, Dr. Weatherby, you're going to have to be the one to answer them, because uh, yeah. uh, I definitely do not have the knowledge. Um, right. So let's see here, uh, while you're getting everything set up. Well, I'm kind of at that stage now. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Well, I've got so the questions ready for yeah, when we get I decided not to pre-populate by product. What it's done is it's brought up our health concerns. Obviously, these are all empty because we don't have any products selected. But the recommendations, these are the ODX recommendations, like we said, that have been curated by the medical advisory team with Fullscript. So I'm imagining that I'll be communicating with these guys uh, ongoing and we'll, we'll be dynamic interaction. So this list could change at some point as more things come online. But the way that it goes, we felt that these four products were really top products for treating blood sugar regulation. Um, so you could choose one of those. Uh, you could also um, just look at the uh, entire catalog just the way that you would in full script. Patient history is something that you could look at. Um, a little caveat here for right now, this patient history is the ODX patient history. So the more you use this, Within the ODX environment, the more intelligence and machine learning we can do around what you have prescribed for this patient in the future or in the past so that you can now use the same one again. Um, you may or may not have your own favorites in Fullscript. If you've gone to the trouble of creating those, I know I have, but it's very helpful. Um, if there are favorites that you've done, um, these are all some of the ones that Dana had done in his account let's say just general wellness, and then you just want to search for those products, bingo. You know, so this is a really nice way for actually pulling in the work that you've done in full script around your own patient uh, or your own favorites. Here you can pull them in as well. 
If you wanted to go click read more, uh, here's some details about the product. Uh, this would tell us that other patients have had this product in the past. So you can either click this and we'll take you to the patient dashboard of that particular patient. Or you can actually, uh, I think, click in here and it might even take you to the treatment plan that was built. So I'm not going to show you that. And then similar products. If you want to look at similar products uh, and you say, oh, I actually wanted to do this uh, orthomolecular and then you want to add that from this uh, section, now orthomolecular is handled here. And one final thing that I didn't talk about was, um, and maybe Dana, you could talk about this, the, the, the discount that is given to patients. Um, you can actually, when you set up a patient in full script and you match them from ODX, uh, you, you have the chance at that point to, to increase the discount that that patient might get uh, from full script. So we've sort of rebuilt some of that functionality into ODX so that if you want to add a 5 or 10% discount to that order, um, that will then be the default for that particular patient in full script. Of course, you can go back into full script and change that. So these are some of the, like, the little features that we built in here to kind of make your experience of using this um, as uh, robust as possible. Uh, Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, great, great platform, great integration, just makes makes perfect sense. So Dr. Weatherby, at, you know, just to kind of bring things home, what would you say like the main benefits of Optimal DX would be for a practitioner? All right, you've, uh... all right. So I think I'm gonna slide show this out. I would say that probably the number one is that we provide better contextual analysis. And by that, I mean, we provide a detailed analysis that doesn't require you to expend a lot of your time, energy, effort, looking through books, putting together your thoughts and conclusions. We kind of get you to that point. Um, we also provide that interpretation of your patient's blood test results. So. You, you spend a bit of time entering them into the software and we do the work for you. Um, the other thing I think that we provide, Dana, is meaning, not just information. When you look at a blood test that comes back from Quest, that's information, it's data. There is absolutely no meaning attached to that particular report. So what we're doing is providing the meaning, the hidden intelligence that's kind of embedded in that uh, report. Um, I think that the ODX reporting that we do is a roadmap to your patient's uh, journey to optimal health. Like I said, you know, if you look on the right hand side here, the functional body systems, by like taking that overarching view, we can go, you know what, you've got these interconnected systems in your body, which ones are out of balance, causing these symptoms that you're experiencing? And how can we provide you a roadmap to be able to move towards treatment with full script and the integration that we've done, and the delivery of those nutraceuticals to that patient? Um, I think it's also a tool to have a better conversation with your patient. I'm always interested in that conversation. That's why this was really built for practitioners to work in a consultative environment with their patients. It wasn't designed to send off to the patient and tell them to go buy some supplements. No, it's a tool for you to have a deeper, richer uh, conversation with your patients about what's going on. And I think with that functional health report, I think that really does that for you. You're gonna save a lot of time. Like I said, I used to do between 25 minutes to 35 minutes, every single blood analysis, and it wasn't didn't look pretty like this. It was a single piece of paper with my chicken scratch notes on it. I would talk to the patient. You could see like springs coming out of their head because there's so much information to be uh, conveyed to them. By doing this, it might take you five or seven minutes to enter data into the software. I actually like that process. I'm, it's almost a meditative process and I'm sort of engaging with the numbers as I'm doing it, but I'm a bit of a geek. So anyway, you're gonna save a lot of time. Um, and I think the other thing too is because you're taking the very same test that the that their practitioner might have said everything's normal, and you're now showing them all of this hidden intelligence and all these conclusions that you can come from it, and the treatment plan that comes out of it, you, you're going to be elevated in their eyes as an expert in your field. And that's really what I think a lot of us uh, would like to be in our, in our fields uh, is, an, is an expert. The thing I didn't mention here, because money sometimes is kind of a little bit of a dirty word in functional medicine, I don't know why, but I know practitioners that are charging 100 bucks for this report. Um, if this report can help you uh, prescribe a, a better treatment plan and run more products through Fullscript, you're going to be making more commission off of it. So this is a money-making tool. 
as well as a truly great information tool. Now, what about the uh, benefits for your patients? I think that's important too. Sorry, Dr. Witherby, to stop your flow here, but I just want to jump in. I do want to acknowledge we have gone a little bit longer than we had originally sorry, promised, sorry. and we do want to be uh, totally respectful of everyone's time. So not to worry, as you know, you're here, you've RSVP'd to this webinar. We are going to be sending out recordings of this to the email address that you used to RSVP. So don't worry if you have to hop off. If, if you have something else going on, feel free to leave, and we'll be sending a follow-up email with the recording here, including the answers to the questions that we'll be doing later on in the Q&A period. So if you have to hop off, don't worry. We won't think it's rude. We know you got places to be. Uh, we loved having you here, and uh, we'll, we'll send that follow-up email shortly. Thanks. But I, um, I, I tend to ramble on too much. My, my, my bad. Uh, oh, that's okay. But uh, yeah, you're about to tell us about the benefits for the patients. <laughs> so I think, the, I mean, the other thing too is patients love these reports. Uh, I actually do uh, have conversations with some of my top users, and I remember one of them saying, he was amazed when he first started using the reporting. He would go back into the waiting room um, and there would be patients waiting for consultations with his nutritionist or, or even for himself. And he'd notice that they were like clutching the printed version of the report to their chest as if it was some like magical document. Because it really is. It's, a, it's like a snapshot of your life because it's like the reading of your blood test. So it really is providing the patients and giving them access to relevant information about their health and insight into what's going on. I think that's huge. They can really improve their quality of life by giving them the answers that need to move towards optimal health because a lot of them have been seeing practitioners they they're looking for answers you can provide those answers to them i think it's also a real representation of a true and effective uh, partnership with uh that with you the physician um the reporting provides them a roadmap just the same way it provides you with a roadmap it provides them with a roadmap they can see where they've been and where they're going and finally, the, the personalized treatment recommendations. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. You sat down with this report that was from their blood, and you created an individualized treatment plan out of many, many thousands of different products. You chose these particular products, and you have associated them with a, a health concern. You've demonstrated why that health concern is a problem. It's, like I said, health insights lead to health solutions, and you are going to see patients not only get better, they're going to come back for repeat testing. They're going to buy more supplements from you. They're going to engage with you in a different way. It's, a, it's an absolute no-brainer for, for you, for the patient, for your practice. Great. And of course, we, we've talked a lot through this webinar already about the benefits between, uh, between the integration for Fullscript and Optimal DX. You're staying organized. All the information is in one convenient location. You're helping provide that patient health roadmap. You go from that health concern to that health solution. There is the improved patient experience, maximizing the time, the retention, and your revenue as well by using our adherence boosting uh, features. Uh, and of course, increasing patient compliance through that. But Something I'm really excited to hear about next, Dr. Weatherby, uh, is an announcement I think you have about uh, about how uh, the subscription model for Optimal DX is changing. I think this is sort of exclusive and brand new for folks that are listening to the webinar today. Can you t tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Yeah, to give you a little bit of context, you know, um, ODX is a software as a service company. So um, when you sign up for an account with us, you get access like, like you do with Fullscript to a portal. Um, any changes that we make, you get them depending on your subscription level, of course. Like we just did this massive treatment builder that you've just seen here. It's available now. Uh, no one had to pay any extra for it. Um, we also, I also one of the things I want to point out, we are a very small company. We are completely 100% bootstrapped. So everything that, that I make in this company, I put back into the company. We're really trying to grow this to be an excellent provider of services. So um, we, we thrive and survive on subscriptions. But you guys pointed out to us is that for some practitioners a subscription of 175 bucks a month which is our top professional level subscription that's pretty pricey for someone that may be only doing one or two tests uh, every six months or something so with uh, a full script in mind we um, kind of bit the bullet on a new uh, professional pay-as-you-go plan so this i think uh, is a nice win-win what we wanted to do is kind of give you all of the functionality that we've built into our professional subscription, but instead of having to pay 175 bucks a month, you're really paying about $15 a month, which is um, billed annually. So it's about $180 a year. Um, we give you a free trial. So you get 14 days of use of the software. We'll even give you two free blood tests to kind of play around with the system. 
And if after that you feel like it's a great system, you want to avail yourself of this pay-as-you-go concept, then you would be charged 180 bucks. But what does that give you? Well, you've already gotten two blood tests. Uh, it also gives you a year's access to the ODX software. You are now part of the ODX family. When we make updates and, and changes, when we add new biomarkers, when we add things to the product reference guides, you get access to those. So you would get a, a year's access to the reference guides. I, ha I haven't even shown you what those are. It's basically a, a really in-depth manual into biomarkers. I have a research team that does tremendous research as well, and they answer your questions in our AMA section. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. Uh, actually, in the software itself, there's a facility here for Ask Me Anything. So you can view and submit questions to us. My uh, research team does in-depth uh, reviews of those, and then we provide answers for you as well, which has been um, answered in our knowledge base. Uh, also, you get access to all of our reference guides, uh, the blood reference guide here, you know, all of the various different biomarkers. And then finally, um, you can be a part of our practitioner directory. So we have a public facing directory where you would be listed. So those are some of the things that you get with uh, your subscription. Um, you also get every biomarker that we built in there. You get all of the functional health reports. You get all of the health improvement plans. So rather than restricting it, we want to give you everything. Uh, because we feel like it's such an important part of the process. You also get the full script integration. You can integrate with labs as well. Here's the deal. If you want to add in a blood test, this is totally up to you. You can add a blood test in as a pay-as-you-go basis. You buy credits, $65 for a blood test. And what does that give you? That allows you to do exactly what we just did today. Enter the blood test into the system, run the functional health report, have that report of findings with your patient, you can then go over and build the treatment plan based on the health concerns that are related. Use your Fullscript account, send that prescription to your patient through Fullscript, allow Fullscript to do all the wonderful things that it does. Come back, generate that health improvement plan. Uh, you've now got a, a report that ties in, like I said, blood test to interpretation analysis to reporting to health concerns to treatment. So it's $65 for, for all of that. Um, like I said, we have a 14-day free trial. Uh, you, I think in your notes that you're going to get, there's a link. And uh, we, we'd love to see you. Um, like I said, 14 days, you can have a couple of blood tests to play around with this. If you feel like it's not for you, I, I totally understand. But what it does now, it gives you this whole year. And let's say in three or four months' time, a blood test comes in, and you go, God, I wish I could get some more information. Oh, actually, I could go over to ODX, I could buy a credit, and I could begin that process. And here's the other thing. You can actually go over to Fullscript and not use any um, uh, health concerns, and you can actually create treatment plans in ODX as well. So there's a way for you to be able to use Fullscript, even if you don't have any blood tests in the system. So I think it's a, I think it's a nice win-win um, for, for everybody. Like I said, uh, I think, Dana, you're going to, uh, reach out with a link for people to be able to join us at that level. I will, yes. And a lot of a lot, a lot of resources, great value. Thank you so much, Optimal DX, for uh, for making an adjustment there. I, I can't wait to see uh, everyone, you know, getting excited and, and signed up for this. Um, and uh, actually, on the next slide, and when we do the follow up for this webinar, we are going to send this entire slide deck out. So we do have some resources included already. Um, all of these are hyperlinks uh, that will give you guidance to those different areas. So full script resources, optimal DX resources, um, some next steps. Um, if you're a optimal DX user, um, you should have the opportunity to create your full script account through setting up the integration already. Uh, but we also do have some hyperlinks here for those located in the US and in Canada to sign up for their full script dispensaries that way. There's the link to sign up for the, the new 14 day free trial through Optimal DX. And again, you can integrate full script with Optimal DX during that 14 day free trial, which is uh, which is very cool. Um, and then I have a little walkthrough video that I've done previously uh, talking about the integration between full script and Optimal DX. You can follow along on your own time. Um, so I know uh, we did say we were going to have a question and answer period, but I, I, I think we, we've gone a little bit too far over. So what we're going to do is we're going we're to take all those questions and yeah, uh, we're going to 
<laughs> we're, we're, we're going to make answers for them and we are going to send them in the follow-up. Hopefully some of them were answered uh, along the way. And, uh, and hopefully you still leave this webinar with a lot of knowledge, a lot of enthusiasm uh, about getting started with functional blood chemistry analysis and uh, integrating your, your full script dispensary. But like I've been saying, we're going to follow up with this entire slide deck and all of the answers to your questions that's going to be coming sometime soon. So thank you everyone again for, uh, for your time today, uh, uh, spending it with us here in this webinar. And of course, thank you, Dr. Weatherby, for, for your time as well. well. I want to thank Fullscript so much for, you are an amazing team. Um, for anyone who's been in tech, uh, you've been an absolute delight to work with. I love, I love working with your team. You're absolutely fabulous. For anyone who's not a Fullscript user and you're in the US and Canada, get an account. It is an absolute must. It's not something that you should do tomorrow. Get onto it now. I think the benefits that you're going to get, whether or not you use ODX, I don't care. It's like if you want to get really high quality supplements in, in your patient's hands, uh, you couldn't be better with a, with a company like Fullscript. They handle everything for you. So super cool. Gosh, Dr. Weatherby, you're going to make a grown man cry on a webinar. <laughs> thank you so much for your kind comments. And again, thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.